Hey everyone, this is Mike with JetAdmin and in this video we'll learn about lookups and rollups. And lookups and rollups are super important in JetAdmin and just in general because it allows you to keep all the data sets, all the tables that you have nice and clean and but at the same time have the power to always at any point in your building process to get access to all the data in the related tables. And when we have two or more tables linked or related, what we can do is we can look into the related table, grab all the values that we need from this table, bring them back into the original table and display either in the form of individual values or run some calculation on top of those values and display the result. And there are two primary use cases for related tables, lookups and rollups. And lookups or lookup fields allow you to fetch a specific value from a related table and then display it in the original table. And what rollups allow you to do is aggregate values from a related tables and then display the result of the aggregation. And I'll show you how this works on this example. I have companies table and I have deals table. And those two tables are related. They are related as one to many, meaning that every company has several deals and every deal has always only one company. Now, for let's look at the real data here. And I have, I'm in the deals table. And for every deal that I have here, here in the separate column, in a new column, I want to display the company name. I want to grab this company name from this related collection and display it here in a new column for every record, for every row in the deals table. And then my second use case is I want to, within the companies table, I once again, in a separate column, I want to show the total value of all the deals associated with a given company. And in order to do that, I'll have to go into the related deals collection, find the amount field, and for all the related rows, kind of sum those fields up and display the result here. And I'll need the lookup field for the first scenario and I'll need the rollup field for the second case. So let's start with the lookup. As you can see, I already have this uh, linkage with the, within the company ID for in key that kind of points to the company's table. And if you want to know how to set link to records, please refer to a separate video where I've gone into detail on how to do that. All right, so we go and add a new column here. And right away, we have all the options available here. I'll go with a lookup related field. And when I hover over the lookup related field, I have the list here of all the related tables or rather of all the foreign key columns pointing to related tables. So in my case, it's going to be only companies. I have only company ID here pointing to the companies table. So I click into it. And right away, I have the context of all the fields from the companies table. In my case, I'll need organization name. So I click here. And that's pretty much it. I click Save. Let's see. And great, I have all the company names here displayed in the deals records. And as you can see, it's highlighted in blue, telling us that this is a computed column, not the column from our original data source, and a little lookup icon. Okay, let's move on to the second case here. We go to the companies table. We go to and create new column. In our case, it's gonna be related, uh, it's gonna be roll up uh, related record. And here we see the list of relationships. Once again, we click into this and this is exactly, exactly what we need. We need to aggregate deals from the deals collection. And this is pretty much where we set the aggregation and some other additional settings here. We'll start with setting up the type of aggregation, what we need here. How do we want to aggregate all those fields here? So there are several ways how we can do it, average, maximum, minimum, and number of records even. But this is exactly what we need, the sum of field, meaning that we want to sum up all the fields in the amount column, okay? So we find our amount field from the deals collection. Here it is, we select it. And I also want to display the result as integer and click save. Okay. Let's look at the result. Great, that looks fine. 
Now, it's important to point out that if you break the linkage between these two tables or any other related tables by, say, deleting the link to record field or changing data structure, changing primary keys and foreign keys in your SQL database, you will have to recreate all the computed fields. So all the computed fields will be nullified and you will have to start over and pretty much do the same, go through the same process. And finally, uh, I want to mention that you can go even, even further above and beyond lookup and rollup with custom computed fields. And this is where you can apply custom formulas to do some custom calculations on top of the set of values from a related table. And you can even write JavaScript if you want to go really advanced. Thank you very much for watching and have a great one. Bye.